Okay, Sunday morning, I'm on the bike, riding up the mountain today, I think. Mix things up a bit, feels very good to be back on the bike. Nice spin at the mountain, take it nice and easy. Haven't eaten much or haven't eaten anything yet, just uh, had a coconut water, a load of water this morning, get the hydration in, and then uh, probably get a smoothie in up the mountain as well, but it's time to ride. Into nature a bit more. Good ride, man. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so just ride past the temple, heading up to the palace at least. Loving the ride today, feeling nice and relaxed. Really nice to uh, be off the running legs and just do some cycling. Great cross training. Yeah, can't beat it. So I've hit the palace, and now I'm just figuring, might as well head up to Doi Pri. So heading up the mountain to the top. The summit is Doi Pri, over a thousand meter climbing. So really nice, feeling real fresh after yesterday. Right at the viewpoint, Doi Pri, how beautiful this is. Look at the clouds, oh, man, the mountain's incredible here. Definitely the reason I live out here in Thailand. You know, I started climbs just 2k out the city centre. Climb up for 20k and this is where you get to. So wicked morning training, feeling really good about that climb up the mountain. Really good to mix up the running with the cycling, especially when you're training for the trails, training for mountains. You know, just riding up the hills, just gets so much strength in your legs, you guys, feeling pumping. And obviously gets a good cardio in there as well. So usually I'm going running along this ridge line here up along to Buddha's footprint and then work my way around up to the top of the mountain over here but yeah I just love these hills and the longer I'm here the more I know them it's just super special such a beautiful place and the air right now the air quality is just incredible with the rains it's just so fresh and when you're in the mountains on the hills with all these trees around you just feel all this oxygen coming in just energizes completely so feeling really good been a great training week and uh, yeah now time to head down and get some smoothies all right so just made it down from top getting some smoothies in mango banana just bumped into James <laughs> in the smoothies as well. Okay, round two. Alright, so just got back from the mountain, had a really great morning training and uh, yeah, really enjoyed my ride up to Doi Pri and uh, obviously catching up with a load of vegan crew on top of the mountain is really amazing. feel really fortunate to be able to meet so many vegans on a daily basis at the moment and uh, especially when everyone's so active and so fit. Had the smoothies on top, felt really energised, but it was really good. And um, yeah, so now for lunch I'm just going to mix things up. Usually I have fruit. Um, but obviously, you know, it's not something I always stress out about and if it's not convenient at the time if I don't have any ripe fruit or perhaps I feel like something different, I'll just go with it. So, uh, yeah, I got myself some uh, chocolate soy milk on the way back on my ride and uh, got some oats as well. So I'm going to have some chocolate porridge, probably a few bananas on top of that. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice alternative to uh, having fruit, obviously getting lots of carbohydrates in again. And uh, yeah, be nice and filling, nice kind of good lunch for me there after a nice hard work of training. So let's get to it. Just had an afternoon working on the computer and uh, yeah, just picked up these food fit bars. Get them in 7 Elevens now, a bit of a coconut wood. Yeah, some kind of fruity, nutty cereal bars. Really good options, vegan of course. Yeah, so had a cool day just helping people out, writing some training programs, uh, getting back to load of emails. A really productive day. Like, you try and get me to work on the computer for anything else, it's very difficult, but it comes to Harry Runs and getting back to you guys. Really enjoying helping everyone out with the running and uh, hearing what people have got to say. So keep them coming in guys, keep the comments, keep the emails coming. Get in touch with some race organizers as well. Got some really cool kind of projects, ideas coming up and uh, some cool opportunities hopefully in uh, across Asia. So looking forward to that. So usually as well, I'll be aiming to train twice a day. That's kind of Monday to Friday what I'm up to. On the weekends, I try and take it a bit easier. Uh, obviously I do the, long, the longer training hauls on the weekend. I'm just trying to hold back a bit really, just to make sure that I've got a lot more to go this, this later this year. Nothing too crazy on the weekend, but you know, getting a nice long run on the Saturday and then Another run on the Sunday or bike ride. Riding the Doi Pri was good, I love that. Really nice, relaxing rhythm on the bike, just spinning away and uh, nothing too crazy. So off to Taste of Heaven in a bit now to go and get some food and uh, meet a few of the crew. Taste from Heaven. How's it going, Kenny? Yeah, what's up? Right, so we've got some banana curry, a load of rice. What have you got, Kenny? Full English. Full English, mate. <laughs> BLT coming up. It's not a sad. Okay, vegan brownie. Yeah. Ice cream. All right, so just got back from food. It's Sunday night now. So a good weekend of training. Feeling really good about that. That's what I've been up to. And uh, kind of a typical, typical weekend in terms of training load. As I said, trying to keep it pretty good right now, but nothing too intense. You know, obviously periodizing my training. So 
keep it at a good volume right now and then later on in the year when I'm doing the ultras obviously be building that up and uh, adding a lot more volume and a bit more intensity I guess as I get closer to the races. Yeah, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. All the comments, all the likes, happy running. See you soon.